Who doesn't know about BMW? At this moment, this company is famous for luxurious cars, sleek designs and high power engines. For over a century, they have achieved a lot of milestones and are famous for quality products. But like every other famous company, they have a hidden and dark history. Beyond their sleek designs, they have a history that shadows back to Nazi and world wars. In this video, I will explain this dark and overlooked part of their history that will leave you shocked. So do watch this video till the end. BMW in 1916 Before we delve into the dark history, we should have a brief knowledge of this company's backstory. Because it never started as a luxurious car company, but a series of unfortunate incidents led it to make the luxurious cars. So it was 1916 when this company was founded. In the beginning, they aimed to create aircraft engines. If you look at the BMW logo, it's actually an airplane impeller. In 1917, their first airplane engine came which had some really cool features. These features made it quite distinctive in the market. And it was 1923 when this company created the first motorcycle known as BMW R32. But their dream was always of creating airplane engines. They were not interested in motorcycles as much as in the engine. The Quine family now before going back to BMW, we have to look at the dark history of its main shareholders, the Quant family. If you look at today's Germany, the Quant family is the richest one. But if you go back a hundred years, it was the industrialist family at that time too. World War I It was World War I when this family's history started with the Gwynther Quant. He was born into a well-off family which had a textile factory. They were having decent earnings which boomed further in the war because their textile factories created uniforms for Nazi soldiers. When the war ended, Germany lost it and a whole burden came on the industries. They have to pay for the war that cost them fortunes. So they all become bankrupt except for Gwynther Quent. He had earned money due to war so his factory was still going on. So he cashed this opportunity. How? He gave financial support to all other industries that were bankrupt. He invested money in oil companies, war weapon companies, manufacturing, electronics, and many more types of companies. In just about 10 years, he owned 50% of German industries and became the most powerful man of that time. When his business life was taking an interesting turn, something else was also happening in his family life. Magna Ritual It was 1918 when his wife got the Spanish flu. It turned out to be deadly as she died of it in the same year. Three years after her death, Gwynther had a second marriage. This time, he married a blonde girl 20 years younger than him. Her name was Magna Ritual, and she was gonna play a crucial role in the dark history of BMW. So what happened was that Magna got bored with Gwynther very soon. Their marriage didn't last as after one year, she demanded divorce. After the divorce, she went to Joseph Goebbels for marriage. Do you know who Joseph is? He's the Minister of Propaganda for the Nazis. Here, a surprising thing happens. Gwynter became happy with Magna and Joseph's marriage and gave his palace for the wedding ceremony. Also, he covered all the expenses of that marriage, showing his happiness in this bond. You may be wondering why. Well, it was because he wanted a friendly relationship with the Nazis. At that time, the Nazi regime was emerging and becoming strong with each passing day. So Gwynter extended the friendship hand toward them through this marriage. He invested a bunch of money in the Nazi regime and helped Hitler in growing. So Hitler and Gwynter remained side by side throughout the Nazi regime's growth. It kept going on during the Second World War. Second World War In the war, Gwynter was on the Nazi side and one of the most powerful men in Germany. He had the factories and industries that Hitler needed for the war. At that time, BMW was emerging. Gwynter was the biggest shareholder in the company too. And I have told you earlier that they were making engines for aircraft at that time. So Gwynter asked them to make powerful engines for Hitler's army. At that time, the BMW company was in demand because aircraft were needed in the war. And this company's engine was of high quality. So Gwynter invested a bunch of money in this company leading it to boom and becoming prominent in that wartime. Not only the engines, they were also providing their motorcycles to military forces. Transport was also needed at that time, so their motorcycles were also a big deal in the war situation. In short, they were helping Hitler with everything they had. And this is the one dark aspect of them. Forced labor Another one is that they used forced labor, or we should say, slaves at that time. 
In the war, young people were needed so all the workers of factories were forced to participate in war. Now factories were vacant, so Gwinter asked the companies to utilize the people in concentration camps. These people were forced to become slaves in the factories and were treated really, really bad. BMW made engines for army aircraft through slaves. Their condition was so bad in factories that a lot of slaves died from starvation and diseases. But no one was there to care for them. New slaves were coming daily due to the war and replacing the old ones. So this company was building its empire at that time through slaves. When the war ended, Germany again lost. Allies took over the country and the Quant family faced some controversies. As they were powerful, nothing much happened against them. Quinter's son faced a one-year jail only, and no charges were pressed on them. However, the BMW company faced a lot of criticism for their involvement in the war and for taking the side of Hitler. Due to these controversies and criticism, they started falling apart and facing financial issues. Half of their factories were on the east side and in the Soviets' hands and the rest of the factories were destroyed. They came to Gwinter's son Herbert for help, but he didn't care at that time. In 1959, the company was taking its last breaths and begging the Quant family for help. They asked Herbert to buy their company and he instantly agreed to it. In this way, he became a shareholder and money started coming to the factory. Here, they decided to say goodbye to the aircraft engine due to their tainted past. They decided to make some changes in their company to give it a fresh look. So they started their luxurious car collection. In 1962, they launched their first successful car, the BMW 1500. From there, its cars started coming into the market. Due to the quality of these cars, BMW became famous and its position again became stable. However, a few people still hated it and believed that BMW was successful because of dirty money from the Quant family and forced labor. Fast forward to 2024, BMW is famous for its cars and no one even knows about its intricate past and aircraft engine obsession. This company has evolved and has left its dark past behind. But still, the Quant family is their biggest shareholder. This is all about this company's dark past. Do share your thoughts in the comment section. And for more videos like this, do subscribe to my channel.